What is a decentralized autonomous organization? Why are DAOs such a revolutionary blockchain technology? How does a DAO work? I will go through all of the most important questions that you need to know. That's right, it's a very direct form of democracy. Maybe you want to gather funds to start your own NFT project. If you're a beginner that wants to learn more about decentralized autonomous organizations, then this video is just for you. Hey everyone and welcome back. In today's video we are going to be talking all about decentralized autonomous organizations also called DAOs. Now if you're a beginner you may have many questions like what is a DAO? How does a DAO work? How does a DAO relate to cryptocurrency and how can I create my own decentralized autonomous organization? I will go through all of the most important questions that you need to know in just a few short minutes. But I'd like to start off with the basic definition. What is a DAO? A decentralized autonomous organization is a member-owned community that allows safe online collaboration, governance, and project funding. And that's just a fancy way of saying that DAOs allow people to work together while respecting each individual's rights. It's a form of governance that is transparent and relies on the power of blockchain technology to make things fair. And to really illustrate why DAOs are so important, I'd like to give an example of comparing DAOs perhaps to other forms of governance, such as corporate governance and political governance. So if we think about passing laws, if we are working in a government that's a democracy, we can vote for our representatives, but we don't actually get to vote on individual laws, and we certainly don't get to propose laws for other members of the community to vote on. Rather, our representatives have to do that for us. And if they don't propose the laws that we want, well, we can't really do a whole lot. By contrast, with a decentralized autonomous organization, we can actually vote. Yes, every single person that owns at least a token in this organization can vote on the proposals. Not only that, but they can uh, propose their own changes to the DAO. That's right, it's a very direct form of democracy in which every individual can actually propose changes to the laws that govern that organization. Not only that, but because everything is on the blockchain with a decentralized autonomous organization, everything is transparent and there's accountability. How many times have you heard of a politician writing a law that's supposed to help the poor, but they really just give that money to their friend? Or how many charities take in donations and then don't spend them for what they're supposed to? This is because even if the laws are written, they are implemented by humans that can make mistakes. By contrast with a decentralized autonomous organizations, the proposals that are voted on by the community aren't just theoretical ideas, rather they are executable smart contracts, which means they automatically execute without requiring human intervention or humans to stop them from being implemented. Now, that probably sounds pretty cool, but you're probably saying, what can a DAO actually do? It's great that they have all these features, but what are the use cases? Well, a DAO is just a collection of individuals working towards a common objective, so anything that individuals doing together could do, a DAO can do also. Typically, DAOs can purchase NFTs and then sell them for a profit. They can do fundraising. They can create cryptocurrencies. They can manage NFT projects. They can resolve in-game disputes, and they can even be used in metaverse governance. Just to give you an example of two famous DAOs, we have the Constitution DAO, which was an organization that collected 42 million US dollars to purchase the US Constitution. Now, even though they weren't successful, this was a great example of how a DAO could be used for fundraising. 
Not only that, but when the DAO didn't meet its objective, it was able to return those funds to the investors and they were able to prove that the funds were returned because everything is transparent on a blockchain. Think about doing something like that if you donated to a normal organization. Another example of a decentralized governance is the Splinterlands blockchain based game. There was a question that the community had regarding a specific pre sale that was coming up and how a dispute was going to be handled. Instead of just letting one leader decide, every single member of the community, even the people that just had a few tokens, were allowed to cast their votes and have a say in what the outcome would be. And let me just give you an example of how a DAO would work. What would you need to do to create your own DAO? Well, we can look at an example of one of the most famous, most well-known decentralized autonomous organizations, which would be Uniswap. In order to pass a law or a proposal on Uniswap, there first needs to be a proposal. Now, keep in mind that DAOs are different because this isn't someone just coming up and saying, I think we should list this token, or we should charge this interest rate, or we should buy this NFT. When you create a proposal in a DAO, you are creating a smart contract. So you need to write the smart contract and then you need to submit that for voting. Now, because everyone can vote on a proposal, we don't want there to be thousands and millions of proposals or it would just be too much to handle. So most decentralized autonomous organizations have a certain minimum stake for someone to create a proposal. Here you can see that you need at least 2.5% of the outstanding tokens delegated to you to be able to make a proposal. And this is ensuring that people aren't just creating proposals that are completely worthless. On top of that, we want to make sure that proposals can't just pass because no one knows about them. In order for a proposal on Uniswap to pass, at least 4% of the people have to vote in the positive. Now, this doesn't mean that 4% will automatically pass it. It just means that 4% of the people have to actively participate in this, right? You still have to, of course, get the majority, but out of the token holders, you can't just have 90% of the people vote yes, but only five people voted. And then, of course, once this does happen, there will be a voting procedure. And once that is implemented, this is the cool thing about a decentralized autonomous organization. We're not requesting that some senator or representative change something. We are actually, when we vote, if our vote passes in a DAO, it is automatically executed because remember, these are smart contracts. And you might be thinking that this concept of a DAO sounds pretty cool. You might want to organize people and fundraise for any number of causes. Maybe you want to contribute to a charity. Maybe you want to gather funds to start your own NFT project. How can you create a DAO? Well, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a governance token, something that allows people to vote. You're going to need a method of implementing all of that. And you could do that by yourself, but there's also a lot of tools out there that are available to help you. One specific tool is Aragon, which allows you to select what type of DAO you want to create. You can determine how that DAO will be government governed, whether it's going to be through membership, whether it's going to be through voting reputation, and you can change various settings such as how much support does a proposal need to be accepted? Do you want to make it just 50% or should there be a higher barrier? How many people need to vote in the proposal to make it valid? If only 1% of the people vote, but it gets 100% support, should we still let that proposal through? Or do you want to have a certain minimum number of people voting in your proposals? Again, this is not an expert video, so we won't go too much into depth, but just know there are lots of tools out there to, avail to help you create a decentralized autonomous organization. Now, I do want to be clear, not everything is completely perfect with DAOs. Since they are still new, since they're still being formed and created, there's a lot of uncertainty, specifically with regards to legal uncertainty. Different countries can regulate DAOs differently. 
On top of that, some people accuse DAOs of being mainly for the whales. They say that, well, the people with the most tokens have the most voting power, and I think that could be a valid criticism, but we have to remember the people that have the most votes and the most voting power, they have the most stake in seeing that the DAO is successful. So in that sense, it kind of makes sense that they have a bigger say. So what's the future of DAOs? Where do we go from here? Well, remember that DAOs allow us to make decisions in a way that is fair, that allows everyone's voice to be heard, and that is transparent. We can see where our money is going. So in the future, we might have a decentralized autonomous organization that governs something in the metaverse. Let's suppose we have a metaverse game where we are a city and there's different jobs and rules in that city and we want to make some kind of change to how that city in the metaverse functions. Well, what do we do? It's a metaverse, so we can't just gather people up and have them vote. We can vote through a decentralized autonomous organization. Many decentralized financial protocols already use decentralized autonomous organizations for governance. As I showed in one of the examples, blockchain-based games can use decentralized autonomous organizations to resolve disputes or to make changes to the reward structure of the game. The short answer here is that virtually anything that requires people to get together and make a decision can be something where DAOs might be applicable. And I do appreciate you watching this video. Again, this is a beginner level introduction that's really designed to give you a broad overview of the most important concepts of DAOs. The key takeaway here is that a DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization that allows a community to work together and have clear expectations of what is going to happen because everything is governed by those smart contracts. So. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. I hope you got something out of it, and I will see you next time.